Welcome to a Tiny Rhinos WordPress video tutorial series. If you have a WordPress website and you would like to get higher search engine rankings, then come on over to a tiny rhino.com and register your website. In this WordPress video tutorial, we're going to show you how to hide menu links on the left. Now we know that in the WordPress admin, these links are the heart of everything that goes on in WordPress. Usually your post, media, pages, and even your appearance when it comes to menus and other things. But sometimes you just do not want certain users to have access to some of these links. Even though they're admins, we had a, an admin who did not know how to use menus and set them up and completely messed them up. So we took away his access and we did that through the code that I'm about to show you. Now this can be done in a plugin or your themes function.php and it's done right here. Now the first thing we want to do is we're going to add a hook, an action hook. And that is the same for everybody. It's admin underscore menu and then hide menus is a possible name for a callback function that I have right here. This can be anything you want it to be. The 999 is, it's a priority, it's optional. But this could be anything you want it to be. It's a callback function as long as your code is, has, is in a function that matches that. But this has to be the same. So the first thing you're going to do is create that hook. So admin underscore menu. Now, I just called my callback function hide menus because that's exactly what we're trying to do. So we're keeping it simple. What I do here is the first thing I do is I get the user's username. All right, with these two lines of code. This is the WP get current user function. It creates an object that's a current user, and then you can have different properties. In this case, I just want the user login, the name, the username. All right, so you want these two lines. Now, what we're going to do in this particular these lines of code right here, these six lines of code, we're going to put the URLs, okay? You need the URL. We can just, you know, what we're going to do is we're just going to remove the editor pages and the user, okay? So we'll show you that. We can keep our plugins, all right? And then what's going to happen here, I'm going to remove this one as well. So now we have these, you know, you can edit, you have your pages, you have uploads, you, you can manage users, and you have the, um, the different admin pages like plugins and comments. You can block people from this. It's really cool. And let's just start off with the users. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your username that is allowed to see the link. Okay, so in this case, don't need this one and I don't need this one we just have the admin pages the user pages and the editor I'm just going to change this to just the admin so only the admin will be able to manage users I'm going to save that and I'm going to go to my WordPress admin page you have users right here on the left let's refresh so that came in but now the user link is gone. Now that's pretty cool because what we did was the users are managed through users.php in the admin. So we created a variable for the array. We're just putting our URLs in this array. And then we're putting another array with the usernames that are allowed to see that link. Obviously, I'm logged in right now as Bruce C. So if you go to the users, it's gone. I can't manage it. But if I put my name back, my username, and I refresh the back end, you will see that that is back. So that's how you block the users. But now you need one more line of code. You need to attach these two arrays. So it's down here in the display users page. We're going to use a function called remove menu page. Okay, we're just going through the pages that are in this array and displaying this, you are explo exploiting this username and just 
We're just saying that if it's not in the array of the allowed users, then we're going to remove the page. So in other words, if I put admin in here and I save it, I have this display users page array in here, but I'm also, I'm saying that if it's not in this array, right? Bruce C is not in this array. We're going to go through all the URLs in this array and we're going to remove the menu page, okay? Let's take this one step further. Let's remove my access to page, okay, so the pages and also the arrays, the, the appearance, okay? So we're going to just completely just put admin in here. Now I shouldn't have access to any of those. I can only really manage just certain plugins. So we're refreshing. And now you notice that my links are less. I don't have access to manage the posts or the pages or media, and I can't even get into the appearance menu. It's completely gone because my name is not in this array. So if I put in Bruce C and refresh, now this is process right down here in the display editor page. So in other words, this display editor page, I'm in this array, which means I'm not, it's telling me I'm not in here, which is a PHP function called not in array. We're gonna remove this page for anybody that's not in the array. I'm in the array, so I'll, I should see all these links, the comments, the uploads, and the editors. So let's go ahead, let's refresh that. And you will notice that now I can manage posts and media and pages because I'm now in this array. Let's do one more. Let's allow me to manage the admin pages. Okay, so we're gonna say Brucey, save. And these are all the admin pages which are processed down here. Okay, so we're going to remove access to the dashboard. I can't manage comments, or I can manage comments now plugins and themes. Now you're going to see the appearance menu come right back. It refreshes and here it is, the appearance menu, because now I have access to manage these. So that's exactly how you remove menu access in the admin for, for uh, specific users. Just m make sure you have the right username or you'll be locking out somebody else. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please let us know at tinyrhino.com. Register your website to get some very high search engine rankings, and thanks for watching.